Going solo isn't always easy, especially when a major success like Reckless Racing 2 is under your belt. Polarbit and Pixelbyte made a wonderful team, and the end result was a racer that may still define the high watermark for the top-down racing genre. Recently, Pixelbyte made a small splash with the poles, but something was missing. It lacked a sense of whimsy. Now, Polarbit releases their own racer, Cracking Sands, and while the concept is fun and calls upon the shade of Mario Kart, it lacks refinement in its execution. In fact, if we use Mario Kart as the starting point for explaining how Cracking Sands works, this will take less time. Ultimately, a player's driving skill only counts for half of their success. Each vehicle is equipped with on-demand nitro boosts, as well as gadgets of the offensive, defensive, and utilitarian variety. There are no random power-ups to worry about, no mystical blue shells robbing you a victory. Instead, you'll have to manage your vehicle's power by collecting batteries of various sizes scattered around the level, while avoiding the mayhem of the vehicles around you. While everything is crashing and bashing together on the wonderfully complex and multi-path stages, this works out to be a perfect system. But should you get a breakaway moment, all the power-ups in the world won't stop you from basically sitting on your nitro and enjoying the no-sweat victory. Of course, the AI makes this harder than it sounds, as it's not so much interested in winning as it is in making sure you don't win, but you never feel overwhelmed. And that's really all there is to say. There are modes to unlock, vehicles to buy and upgrade, online multiplayer, and the controls are simple, if a bit loose when it comes to drifting. Nothing reaches an exceptional level from the presentation to the gameplay itself. It's all middle of the road. It's unfair to compare something like Cracking Sands to Reckless Racing 2. They are, after all, entirely different games. However, it's hard not to feel as though Polar Bit missed a trick or two here and there. Still, it's a fun racer and one that manages to remain fun for hours, so take our lament with a grain of salt. This has been Andrew with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.